We'll just go to the end of this anyway, since I don't feel like trying to chance the uh, possibility of falling down whilst that happens. Oh, that's all? Oh, okay, I'm not, I'm not too concerned with that. Oh, here's where the elevator part of this comes in. Ah, what? what? Oh god. Fell down. I missed. That is a bummer. Oh, what? Yeah, the level gets a bit more challenging from here on out. <laughs> Okay, I need to concentrate. I'm just kind of get him. All right. Oh, I fell. to get past that part at least. Come on, man. Okay, this is not turning out so well anymore. I'm pretty sure I am about to lose all of the extra lives I got from Expresso. So that's a bummer. Took that B out this time though. I feel like that elevator popped into existence before I fell all the way. Oh. That was a bummer. I thought I was totally gonna get him. Whoops. One second. All right. Okay. 
There's like a pop bottle or something outside my room that keeps like popping. Okay, I didn't screw that up. No. Did screw that up though. Let me get credit for the K. Oh snap. I thought I was toast. Whew. I'll take it. Alright. Oh man. I forgot there's one of them like this here too. I knew there was like a cave level that was similar to this with squawks. I did not realize that there was one of them. Ooh. Oh snap. I forgot the on guard token there, but I'm not too worried about it. result of the blackout or anything, that was just me being silly. I deserved that. One swing. God, I thought I was going to miss that. Clearly that was the case, I just wanted to... I managed to jump between just... Man! I honestly thought I was about to die right there. How did I jump through the rope? Shouldn't I have grabbed the rope in the middle of jumping? Oh god, that was close. Take the barrel. The barrel is acceptable. At the end. Yeah, it was going to be way too much of a chore to figure out how to navigate that if I uh, continued to. This is my chance to get that guy, though. Yeah, that's right. 
Holy god, there were a lot of them. They were like, we're totally gonna get these guys. I feel like there's a secret right there. It must have been what the steel drum could have been used for, but I used it to get that other picture. Candy's Dance Studio. Hi there, do you want to try out my dance studio? Just jump in the barrel to begin. This is going to be very tricky. Keep an eye on the speed of the instructions. do this one again. I think I do have to do this one again. Time up. Oh dear, you seem to have two left feet, you crazy fool. Why not try again? Oh god, alright, this is going to be very tricky. Keep an eye on the speed of the instructions. Alright, so... If I have to try this more than three times, I'll just do it some other time. Wow. Wow. Ouch. I think I can salvage this if I don't screw up any other ones. Ooh, I just barely made it by a whisker, I think. Time up. <laughs> cool, you sure know how to hit the moves. Here you go, take this. Thank you. You are a peach. Minecart Madness. This is the second Minecart level. Also pretty cool. This one you have the added ability to jump though, which is nice. Well, jump out of the cart rather than jumping the cart. Which isn't too shabby, if I'm being honest. My game just froze. <laughs> it like stuttered forward, I don't even know if I got the O. I think I missed it. I did miss it. That's disappointing. Oh well. We got this bonus barrel though. <laughs> oh snap. Overall, I think I'd say that this level is significantly easier than the other one. Just because being able to jump out rather than jumping with the cart, or making the cart jump with you, I think that's much easier, all things considered. I also like how the Kremlings are on the other end, just are on the other end of these tracks, just waiting. Oh god. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. the one-up I just earned. It's nice of them to put a check or put a buddy barrel right by the checkpoint there. We'll just do the bonus again, if for no other reason than to jump us forward a little bit. Nope. 
Oh well, I'm not worried. Looks like I overshot my jump there. That was some risky business. I was not super confident in my ability to do that. Oof. Alright. Nice of them to put me right back there. Thank you. Alright, minecart madness is down. Cranky's cabin. Diddy, my boy, where's Donks? The games never looked like this when I was sw a swinging lad. For elevator antics, climb higher than the hornet's nest. Roll attack a baddie and you speed up when you hit the next one. This color screen is making me dizzy, just turn it down. Okay. Boss Dum Drum. See, this guy is not very interesting, if I'm being honest here. He just spits enemies at you. And then he uh, takes the damage from the TNT. I don't remember if there's some twist that makes it harder, eventually. Like if you throw something at me that's really messed up to expect me to be able to do. So that was four right there, though. See, that was ridiculously simple. <laughs> Oh dear, call that tin can a boss? Surely K. Rule can come up with something better than maybe a bucket. Or better than that, maybe a bucket. Or perhaps a really nasty fridge. Come on. You are nearly there now. Just climb. Just chimp caverns to go. Fremrock Industries is finished. All we have left is chimp caverns. Tanked up trouble? I honestly don't remember a lot of how this world goes, so this will be fun. We'll recap what we've got from the, uh, scrapbook. We got the squidge. We got orangutan dude. So, 
Looks like next time we'll be taking on the last world. And probably fighting K. Rule after that, too. So thank you for watching, and as always, follow me to Apex.